introducing my MP5 loadout. This gun has very low recoil, high damage for an SMG, really satisfying to use, and one of my favorite guns in Battlebit Remastered. Okay, so here we have our MP5, the base stats, the damage is pretty up there as an SMG with the damage being 29. The vertical and horizontal are very low, vertical being 0 0.9 and horizontal being 0 0.7. Velocity pretty shit, but that's standard for the SMGs with the damage being set at 29, averaging about four or five shots to kill someone. So we're pretty good. Now to start off like most of the other loadouts, just pick your favorite site. I've experimented with a few, red dot being just my go to, but I have messed around with the Fleur site, which has been pretty funny. So this thing is actually pretty decent with a medium range scope. The only thing lacking is the velocity, but if you are having trouble looking at enemies, I do recommend using something like the Slip or the Fleur, if that will help you out. Onto the side rail, if you've watched my previous loadout videos, you probably know that I don't use anything, but now times have changed. The new target detector is pretty much a go-to for any of my loadouts, only reducing your control by 0.01, so pretty much nothing, and the draw speed is only affected by 0.05. So if you want to maximize your stats, I do not recommend using this, but it really isn't that much of a negative and you get spotting bonuses for looking at enemies that might be that little bit too far away for you to contest. So onto the barrel, we are keeping it short and silent. So we're using the suppressor short for this one. As you can see, the negatives are pretty minute with a little bit of a negative draw speed and vertical recoil. Vertical recoil increasing by 0.18, but we do get the benefit of the extra velocity, which will help your damage over range. And then of course the sound spread and muzzle flash is reduced. For the underbarrel, we are using the old goat which is the B25 Erk. This thing is decreasing your vertical and horizontal recoil and also giving you a quicker reload time by cutting off 0.38 off of that. So pretty good, you're getting yeah better recoil control and better reload time. The only negative is your aim down sight and running speed is reduced slightly, but seeing that it is an SMG, you are already running faster than most other guns. On your way to unlocking the Erk though, I do just recommend using the mag pull angle. This just gives you slight recoil reduction and the only negative is the running speed once again. But yes, we are going with the ERK. Then onto the magazine, you have two options. You've got the short A and the quick A. As you can see with the short A, you are losing 10 rounds, but then you are getting better recoil, aim down time, reload time, and pretty much everything. But you are sacrificing 10 shots, which I do not want. So we will be using the quick A mag. This is increasing our vertical and horizontal recoil, not by much. It still keeps it at pretty good numbers. The control says it's negatively changed by 0.00, .00 so I don't know what's going on there. And we're pretty much reducing it by three quarters of a second. This brings it down to a pretty much a three second reload time and our recoil is sitting around the one digit mark. So still very easy to control. Now just slap on your favorite skin Right now, my favorite one is the Patreon skin, which just looks sick. I also have the Atomic Duck one, which looks pretty mad as well. And yeah, that's my MP5 build. The MP5 has just been one of my go-to weapons now. It is really fun and there's no negatives to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really accurate, a decent fire rate, a really good uptime with its fast reload with this build. Yeah, it's just really reliable. I don't know what it is, but the gun just is really satisfying to use and I suggest you guys checking it out for yourself. Now for your actual loadout, I have been running the assault class pretty much all the time now with its self heal being the same as the medic which is really fast as well as being able to give yourself ammo supply so i do recommend if you are going for the running gun play style to use the assault as it really has no negatives to that class and it can pretty much do everything 
that you need. Now, if you haven't seen it, I do recommend watching my last video where I dropped my personal best record in kills on the new Invasion game mode, which I think had a lot to do with it. But anyway, it was using the MP5 and that is just a highlight video of all my kills. So yeah, make sure you check that one out. We are nearing the end of the year, so expect some goodies and some announcements to happen real soon. I'll keep you updated in my Discord. There should be a link to that in the description of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll catch you in the next one. Big Bodstaff!